there you are. <laughs> so, what should we talk about? Piperine. <laughs> I know. I'm going to continue the story of Piper Reed, Navy Brat. We were going to go on chapter four. Sorry, it's been a few, a couple of days maybe or so. Maggie got sick again. She stopped the antibiotic. And it's like two days after she gets sick again. I'm like, what is going on? So she spent the whole day yesterday, no food whatsoever. She didn't even want any. I mean, she she looked at it and we're like, oh, I, don't, I don't want that. <laughs> so we still gave her her medicine. And um, she ate this morning. So that was good news. I was so relieved that she ate. But just wanted to let you know. Because if I, if I disappear for a few days, that's, I'm taking care of Maggie or my back is killing me, which that's always. But let's continue. No more blah, 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 blah. Adventures in Piney Woods. Piney Woods. Piney Woods. Population 492. Sam... Read the sign as we drove through the small town where mom and chief grew up. We passed the post office, Miss Vicky's Vittles, a laundromat, and a little store. After we drove by mom and chief's all school, we entered the woods where grandma and grandpa Reed lived. lived. Am I like crooked? No. It's just... I'm trying to be comfortable. And it's just, <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, my back is hurting. Mm -hmm. But we'll be okay. So, the long leaf pines grew tall and thick along the winding road. Chief rolled down his window and a pine scent drifted into the van. Oh, I love that. Mom's shoulders rose. <clears throat> she took a long whiff. We're home, she said. Her voice sounded all crackly. Chief stretched his arms across the seat and touched her shoulder. Yep, we're home. A moment later, we pulled onto my grandparents' gravel driveway. Our relatives poured out. Oh. I thought they had poured something out. They poured out of the house to greet us. I'm getting so much better at English. English. <laughs> That's in Spanish. English. Learn it. You gotta know it. <laughs> oh my gosh. There were grandparents, uncles, aunts, and cousins. We hadn't seen them for two years. Everyone must have missed us something awful because the grown-ups attacked us with lots of hugs and kisses. My goodness, Aunt Lynette said, smoothing down my hair. Sam, you grew taller than a beanstalk since Silas laid eyes on you. I'm not Sam, I'm Piper. <laughs> Gracious child, don't mess with my head. Then she went over to Sam and stared at her like she'd never seen her before. Eddie, I didn't know if you'd gone off and had another child. Where, where'd you get that crown, little princess? Sam puffed out her dress. I got it from being a prodigy. <laughs> oh, said Aunt Lynette. Look at the father. <laughs> He's so, probably so tired from all that driving. Oh my goodness, that is one funny picture. Everybody looks like this. <laughs> We're out of the car. <sighs> Mom placed her hands on Sam's shoulders. Not exactly. Her school gave it to her when she won the spelling bee. Uncle Riley winked at me. Are you still that champion Scrabble player? 
that's not me i said that's tori <laughs> oh my goodness they don't even know who she is he poked his elbow in my ribs oh come on now you don't have to be bashful with your old uncle riley my cousins megan and colin stood by watching while we got squeezed like tubes of toothpaste they probably were used to it because they live in a house down the road. I wonder what it would be like to live near my grandparents all year long. Guess what, Colin said. We get to sleep on the screen porch. <laughs> I hope they don't have raccoons and stuff. Oh my gosh, I would be scared. <laughs> that night, Tori and I dressed in our blue pajamas. Oh, sorry. Mom bought for the trip. Then we rolled out our sleeping bags on the screen porch with Megan and Colin. Oh, that sounds like fun, though. Mm. As long as there's no bugs. <laughs> the stars became glitter sprinkles across black velvet. For a while, I watched fireflies dance around the trees. I was about to fall asleep when Megan cupped her hand over Tori's ear like this and whispered some silly secret. Then they giggled. I recited the words that Tori had taught me. Secret secrets are no fun unless you're telling everyone. <laughs> they ignored me though and kept giggling. So I said, psst, Cullen. Colin raised his eyelids. Yeah. Remember the last time I was here? He rubbed his eyes. No, that was a long time ago. You know, I said, 10 little monkeys jumping on the bed. Oh, yeah, Colin whispered. I remember. Then we stood and began jumping and singing. 10 little monkeys jumping on the bed. We jumped and jumped and sang and sang. When... We did a few years ago. It drove Tori and Megan crazy, but now they ignored us. We got louder. <laughs> Except they were on sleeping bags. They can't really, like, bounce. <laughs> oh, gosh. Nine little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell open. Stop it right now, Megan snapped, or else. Bumped his head, I yelled, but Colin didn't say a word. He stopped jumping and lay back down. His eyes were tightly shut. I gave him a gentle nudge. Come on! <laughs> Colin shook his head, not bothering to open his eyes. Uh-huh. Have you ever felt Megan's punch before? <laughs> he didn't punch. Then his head disappeared into the sleeping bag. Like a scared turtle tucking into his chill. Tori could scream louder than anywhere I knew. The one she even pulled my hair. <gasps> but at least she didn't suck me. <laughs> oh my goodness. I fell asleep. Dreaming about Megan using poor calling as a punching bag. The next morning, Grandpa Reed and Uncle Seth saddled up Buster and... Uh, the Shetland Pony. Oh, he got a pony. Oh! All of us older cousins took turns riding him. Do you know how to ride a uh, horseback? Uh, no. <laughs> I've been on a horse. But mm -mm -mm, not by myself. <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> oh, Megan asked me while I waited for my turn. Of course, I said. I rode the last time I was here, but that was two years ago. <laughs> then I spat on the ground like a tough cowgirl. <laughs> Gross. Gross, Megan and Tori sang together. When Colin returned with Buster, it was my turn. I put my right foot in the stirrup, swung my left leg over, and settled into the saddle. Everyone burst into laughter, pointing at me. I stared right straight ahead. Buster's tail swept side to side. His head seemed to have disappeared. What do you think happened? 
She got on backwards. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh. That's funny. Yeah, that's funny. Colin laughed the loudest. Piper got on Buster's backward. Megan smirked. Thought you said you know how to ride. I sat up tall. I read like uh, I like riding this way. <laughs> yeah, sure, Megan said. I ignore her, but seeing Tori laugh made me want to disappear. <laughs> Uncle says, "Help me off." Then he lifted the left stirrup. Try this one first. This time, I slid my left foot into the stirrup. I swung my right leg over. Now Buster's head was where it should be. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was ready to ride. But before I could grab the reins, a bee buzzed near my face. Oh no. I tried to swat it away. Then the bee flew towards Buster's ear. <gasps> Since Buster couldn't swat, he took off running instead. <laughs> oh my gosh, I would die. Oh my gosh, I'd be so scared. My breath left me and I felt as if I was racing after it. I seized the saddle horn and bent low, dodging the branches. Buster kept running, weaving in between the tall trunks. Everyone sprinted after us. Grab the reins, Megan yelled. Hold on tight, Grandpa Reed holler. Watch out for the branches, Tori called out. You're doing fine, said Uncle Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on now. <laughs> Lean forward, Colin shouted. Don't fall, Piper, <laughs> cried Sam. I was afraid Buster would keep running if everyone kept chasing us. My heart thumped <laughs> against my chest. I closed my eyes and I yelled. But my words come out quivering. Stop, stop. Suddenly, Buster broke into a smooth gallop. Woo, it felt like I was in a Western movie. I opened my eyes and stretched one arm towards the sky. Yeah! <laughs> then I noticed we were heading toward the barbed barb wire fence. <gasps> I muttered, help, 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 help. <laughs> I leaned way to the right. And the saddle slid to the side with my feet stuck in the stirrups. My fingers gripped the saddle horn tighter. I must have looked like a trick rodeo rider. A few feet from the fence, Buster slowed his pace and then stopped. That's one smart horse. <laughs> oh, gosh. The saddle slid more until I hung upside down, dangling under Buster's belly. Grass became sky. Sky became grass. A pair of cowboy boots and tennis shoes hurried toward me. Is it time to swim? I asked. <laughs> Swimming at Rumbling Creek went a lot smoother. The water was icy cold, but after I dunked my whole body, it felt refreshing. We played water tag until our fingers prune. <laughs> then we dried off, hurried back to the house, and changed into dry clothes. Thank goodness it was time to eat because swimming made me hungry. The adults ate at the kitchen table. All the cousins ate out on the screen porch. This is delicious, Megan said through a big mouthful of french fries. <gasps> I love french fries. <laughs> I just had a little bit of french fries. Not too much. For a long time, no one said anything. We just ate. Sometimes when it's too quiet, words floated in my head, and before I knew it, they popped out of my mouth. I'm a vegetarian, I announced. <laughs> Colin pointed to my hamburger. <laughs> That's what then. <laughs> Except for hamburgers, I said. <laughs> How about pizza, Tori asked. You mean you're never going to eat pepperoni pizza again? Well, I'm a vegetarian except for hamburgers and pepperoni pizza. Megan rolled her eyes. You're weird, Piper. Tori giggled. Yeah, Piper weirdo. What was happening to Tori? 
hanging around Megan was turning her into a meanie. Sam asked, what's a weirdo? Go look it up in the dictionary, Megan said. You'll find a picture of Piper right next to the word. Oh. The only thing tougher than being a middle child was being a middle child who was also a vegetarian. If you love being squished and squeezed and kissed to death, then you would enjoy a piney woods goodbye. This morning, we set out for Florida. Look at them at the table. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I felt like a piece of Play-Doh being forced through a plastic watchamajigger that turns Play-Doh into shapes. <laughs> but by the time I made it to the end of the scent of line, I hadn't turned into a cool star or a long skinny tube. I just changed into a most up version of me. Pink and red lipstick kisses polka dots my face. My hair was tousled and clothes look wrinkly <laughs> after smelling the ants and grandma's floral perfumes. I need a lot of fresh oxygen. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> when we got in the van, the relatives were still waving and saying goodbye. And our Grand grandmas even poked their heads inside the open windows for more kisses. Grandpa Reed knocked on Sam's door. See you later, alligator. Sam sang back. In a while, crocodile. <laughs> Chief started the engine and hollered. Don't be a stranger. Pensacola isn't that far. I stuck my head out the window and yelled, Yeah, come visit. Leave that mean old Megan at home. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly a fist hit my arm. Ouch! I yelled, glaring at Tori. You never punched me before? There's the first time for everything. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was a long chapter. So we're going to make another video for chapter 5 because it's 17 minutes long. Chapter 5 is called A New Home. So let me see if I can read it now. Oh my goodness, it's... Okay, see you in a few.